I know you can't hear me over the sizzling breakfast for supper. But it really isn't. This is almost like supper. All right, in this pan is about a quarter inch of Crisco in the bottom, and then just slice new potatoes and slice onions, and then whatever kind of sausage you want. I need to turn this over. I know it seems really over full, but this is going to really cook down. All right, it's going to cook down a lot. So I'm going to anticipate going to need more oil because you can see it sitting at the bottom. So I'm going to throw me some more Crisco on there. I know it looks like a lot, but it's all right. It's fine. It ain't going to be good easy because this is going to cook for about a little piece of burnt on there. They're going to cook for a good 45 minutes. So, what I'm going to do now, I've put that heat down to medium, so it ain't going to burn up the way it was. I just wanted to get it good and hot. This is my favorite spatula. Mike's had to glue it together three or four times, but it's paper thin. Look at that. It's so old. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> I told him I can't go buy a new one like this. I'm going to go like, to a thrift store. The people buy them now to resell them as vintage. I use mine. It's like my favorite knife. It's just an old stainless steel knife that was my daddy's with a wooden handle but you can sharpen it you know how that is it's like my fillet knife pretty soon it gets so thin the blades about that wide so this is on medium so now i'm going to cover this in full and take a heavy pan and set on top of it i just want to get that grease to get down in there i don't want the oil the foil sitting just right on top of my grease my crisco my yeah, it ain't lard. I grew up cooking with lard. It's actually really good for you. Tallow, which is just meat fat. It don't matter if it's beef tallow or pig tallow or whatever. But it's a special part of the fat. It comes from um, just certain cuts of the meat you get the tallow. I can't remember. Um, I want to say it's around this. The tallow. Let's cut my down around make it strong after I'm near the ribs. Alright. Alright, so that grease is coming down. I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper this a little bit on the top because I'm not going to try to salt and pepper the whole thing now. I'll salt and pepper it as I go. Every time I come and turn this, I'll salt and pepper a little bit more. And uh, I just call this. Um, Smothered, it's like when you do smothered, you know, steak and onion, or smothered anything, you're smothering it. So, I'm gonna get me some foil and get me another pan and then something heavy to sit in it. All right, so I got the foil on there. I'm just using my pot of oil. Yes, I save it. I've cooked fries in it twice, I can cook french fries in it one more time, and then I can cook some fish in it, and then I'm done with it. I usually use my oil about four. Sometimes five times it's just taters. That's all it is is oil. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And I have a strainer thing it goes through. So it goes through this. If I wanted to be keeping it in here. Ugh. If I wanted to be keeping it in here, I could. It's got the screen. So I can warm it up, strain it through here. But I know I ain't cooking nothing but taters in it. So I ain't too worried about it. Alright, let me move this over. So I'm going to put that like... Because I hear it, I'm going to turn it down to, I don't know what the hell it is. It's not medium high. It's just a little below medium. Just, I don't want it to stick. So I'm going to turn it down to, what am I, on a four, whatever the hell. One notch down from medium. And then I'll come back about every ten minutes and just turn it. Oh, I never salt and peppered it. Shoot. You see already how, how already how s like steamy it is. And it's probably already starting to get soft, even these taters at the top. So we gotta scrape the bottom. See they ain't real brown yet, because I normally wouldn't be turning it so soon. I'm just trying to show y'all. So what's going to happen is leaving it that good 
10 minutes, you're going to get nice brown. And that's what you want. That's why you just want to leave it alone. I shouldn't have messed with it, actually. I just was trying to make an example. So, and I don't mind the water being pulled out by the salt because it's just going to help it get tender. Alright, so I just salted and peppered it real good. That's a... Get this back on there. I can't pick that pan up with one hand. So, you want to cover it. You do want some steam to come out so you're not sealing this. You just... It's more about the weight of that pressing down to get good contact with the pan to get a nice brown crusty bottom on this is what you're doing. I've done this with steak. I've done where I put peppers in it. Um, garlic and tonight is just potatoes and onions and that's it and the sausages that's all real simple oh here's my new butcher block we got the first cabinet countertop done isn't that beautiful I told y'all and it goes real nice with my already existing so we're repainting and the, I like my yellow kitchen but not now that's just too yeah because I was country kitchen so I had the red trim the yellow and then of course I had, you know, these and then a lot of roosters and I did everything else like with these is all red and blues, a country kitchen. Well, that ship has sailed a long time ago. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to go just like an eggshell. This ceiling's awful. We had to drop this ceiling. You could see where we painted it. But the way I cook, yeah, I dirty up the ceiling, don't I? I'm listening. Yeah, it's sizzling pretty good. So, I'm going to give it 10 minutes. I'll put my timer on, and I'll come back. But you can do this with different types of sausages. Um, the beef, I would typically sear it first and just do the potatoes, onions, and peppers, and all that, and then bring that meat back in in the end. In other words, just brown that meat a little bit. Don't really cook it. Leave it real rare. And then toss it back in at the last minute, kind of like you do fajitas. And then turn that around there just for the last little bit. If I wanted to, I could cook some. I could take this and cook some eggs over, you know, and serve this with this. Typically, this is enough. Have some toast with it or whatever you want. But, you know, this is just simple. It's just comfort food. Just potatoes, I guess. And, and sausage, that's it. Just, that's it. Real simple. Um, but again, a lot of times I do put peppers and garlic in there. And it uh, just depends on my mood and what I want. I just want some comfort food tonight. I just want something simple and easy. So that's what we're doing. I will bring y'all back. I ain't going to bring you every 10 minutes to turning. I'll bring you back probably like after about the third turn. Where we're starting to get close so you can get a better idea of what it's going to look like and then i'll put toast down right at the end see if he wants eggs with it or what and uh so that way i'll probably only do two more videos we'll see all right y'all bye i ain't showing myself i ain't dressed